Hi folks, it's Ryan. Hey, welcome to my wood shop. Hey, uh, this video is actually for my Aunt Dorothy and my Uncle Walt. And uh, you guys, one of your children gave me a call not too awful long ago. And uh, Connie knew I actually had made some birdhouses in the past for friends. And so she called me up and wanted to know if I would make one that looks like your guys' farmhouse. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. And I'm not sure what this is going to look like when I get done with it, but hopefully it looks something like your, your farmhouse. And I've got some poplar here I'm going to make it out of. Uh, i got some... Uh, um, Pressure tree plywood I'm going to use for the base over there. I use copper fittings for the holes. That way the birds can't peck the larger holes in them. And I'll be, go ahead and use a outdoor ready glue too. So if you did want to put it outside, it should survive out there for several years. And I'll clear coat it all with a marine grade finish when I get done with it. So again, if you set it outside, it should last quite a uh, time. And by the way, I think this is like the 18th or 19th birdhouse I've made for folks. The top of them, what I typically do is I will take a piece of sheet metal like this and I'm going to uh, spray it with salt water and set it outside so it kind of patinas and then once it gets the right color I'll go ahead and uh, clear coat it inside and out uh, with that marine grade finish as well and uh, hopefully if you put that outside it should last you actually quite a long time and uh, you know it's a cold day in Kansas I think it's about February 7th or 8th it's a Saturday afternoon so I thought hey this is a good day to actually get this thing uh, kicked off and going so I'll take some pictures and video of what I do through the process and uh, hopefully you can follow along on, on uh, me actually creating this thing for you so uh, let's get started as you see I got some help in the shop this morning say hi everyone hi we're here back again yes. so we're going to we're gonna see how Is this dying? Mm -hmm. No. That's fine. You have uh, enough. I like to put these little copper rings. A couple nails. And there you go. One half the birdhouse right there. <laughs> hey guys, it's a Sunday afternoon and I'm calling it quits on the birdhouse today. Uh, and uh, I, day, the last day or so I've been basically putting final assembly back to the, to the house. Made the roof line of the roof here. Uh, went ahead and added on the front porch here. I put the bird hole right here in the front of the house there for you. But I think it's beginning to look something like your home. It's not an exact replica, but uh, 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 and there's a couple things I don't like about it, which I won't tell you what those things are. But uh, anyway, uh, and I added this back porch here. I actually did a too. So uh, the next step is to take the middle back off. Uh, spray it with salt water so it patinas up real nice and then uh, clear coat it and then obviously sand and paint and fill all the little holes uh, that are left over from it. So it's been fun so far and I uh, hope you really enjoy it. Well hey guys, it's uh Saturday morning here on uh, good old Kansas. We're gonna get a bunch of snow today And I thought I would try to start actually paint um, uh, The house white Hey guys, it's a Sunday afternoon here in Kansas in March, and I uh, just got done putting the last couple clear coats of finish on your birdhouse and uh, set it outside to dry today. And I think it does look quite a bit like your house. Uh, hopefully you'll feel that way as well, and uh, hopefully you'll get a lot of years out of it, whether you put it outside, that marine coat finish should actually survive out there quite a while. And if you do put it inside, it has, has, it has some uh, feet on it, some rubber feet, so you can set it on the countertop if you'd like. And if you do put it outside, my recommendation is to get a one inch floor flange and a, a 10 foot one inch uh, galvanized pipe and attach that floor flange to the bottom of the uh, birdhouse, screw the birdhouse to the pole and then stand it up and put it in the hole uh, with some uh, quick setting cement 
uh, you should have it up in really no time at all. So, again, hey, thanks for letting me make the birdhouse for you. I really do appreciate it, and we'll talk to you guys later. Take care.